Hi, Avi here. Welcome to Avi's Kosher Kitchen, and I have got a really cool recipe for you. It is matzo ball soup. I know what you're saying. You're saying, Avi, you are making matzo ball soup. I always see you making all these other things, but not a matzo ball soup. Yes, matzo ball soup. I happen to like matzo ball soup. One of my little secrets, okay? But I've got a couple twists on it, okay? Uh, before I tell you the twist, I'm going to say l'chaim. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, borei pliye Oh, really nice. This is a uh, secret reserve Shiraz from uh, Shiloh Vineyards. My friend uh, Amichai Lori, and uh, courtesy, of course, from our friends over at kosherwine.com. Uh, great selection, and just go on the internet, type it in, find what you're looking for, they ship it right to you. We are going to make, as I said, matzo ball soup with two twists. The first twist is we're not using chicken. Everybody says matzo ball soup is chicken. We're not doing a chicken broth, we're doing a turkey broth, and I've got the turkey right here. And you're going to look, that looks like it's a pile of turkey bones. Well, it is. Okay, we're using uh, the turkey bones instead of just a bunch of turkey meat, because the bones, if you do any of the reading, the bone broth is so super healthy for you because of all the vitamins that just get into the bones. We're going to get it into this water. I've got it going back here on my back burner. Um, and we're gonna get it in there and it's gonna simmer in that for quite a while, for at least two hours, maybe even three or four. Um, we really wanna just, let's go four hours, what the heck. You're not gonna have to sit here for four hours, don't worry, I'll fast forward and you'll get to see the end result pretty quick. Um, and it's really a simple recipe to make. I wanna uh, first take a little bit of salt. I've got some pink Himalayan salt, you could use kosher salt or table salt, whatever. It's gonna go right here, about a, a nice, pinch or two of uh, the salt in here. Okay, I want to get the water uh, a bit, just a bit salty because the salt actually helps to extract the uh, nutrients and everything from the bones. And I've got a little granulated garlic. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of that in. I will put the whole thing in. Garlic's, garlic's always a good thing for you. Okay, this is very, very simple to start. It's basically a um, three, maybe four stage process. Okay, so this is stage one. Just a little bit of salt, granulated garlic, and the turkey bones. We're going to take them in now. A little quick hint, especially if you're working with your kids to teach them how to make this. Don't just take the plate and dump the bones in there because the water's going to splash out and you're going to get burnt. Okay, take them and gently put them in. Okay. That is basically step one. Let it sit in there, cover and simmer and it is going to be great. I want to take a moment though to tell you about these bones. They're from our friends over at Cole Foods. Now, Cole Foods, the turkey is 100% pasture, which means it was never kept in a coop or this or that. It's out there enjoying the life the turkeys are meant to enjoy, okay? No growth hormones, no antibiotics, all eating all natural food and organic feed, and just really, really probably the healthiest meat you can buy. So that's what's going into that. Uh, when I get back, which is going to be in about an instant to you, it'll probably be about uh, three or four hours later and that will have simmered down. And then we're going to go to our next phase of seasoning of this and then we're going to make our matzo balls with surprise number dos. Be right back. And now it's time for phase two. The bones have been simmering for roughly about two, two and a half hours, something like that. I'm gonna take some thinly sliced onions. I'm gonna take some carrots that are both cut into a julienne and just sliced round and a little bit of celery. Cut julienne and just sliced. In addition to that, I've got about a head of garlic here, roughly chopped. All of this goes right into that delicious broth and let the games begin. A little bit later on, I may add in uh, a couple more herbs, maybe some basil and stuff like that, just to, to get it going. You want all of that um, flavor to inculcate itself right into that broth and really let it just get all the flavor and the sweetness of the carrots, the root vegetables sucked out. Now, you could also add some parsnip in here. I love, always love to do a little parsnip. You know, this is a free range thing for you. Your taste is what dictates how the soup is going to come out. I'm just going with a basic starter here, and now you want to experiment. Some people will uh, will take these guys, which is surprise number two, and I'll tell you about that, I guess now. Okay, we're going to make our matzo balls. And these guys are, they're not hot dogs. Don't, don't think they're hot dogs. These guys are going in. So I've got about a cup and three quarters, two cups or so of matzo meal. I mean, what else are you going to make matzo ball soup out of? But matzo meal, right? Matzo meal. 
Okay, first thing I'm going to do, a little bit of salt in here. Just to, you don't want to get over too salty on these. Okay, just a pinch and a half or so, something like that. A little granulated garlic, just to give it a little bit of uh, something. Now I've got here some baking powder. The baking powder will kind of fluff the balls out a little bit, you know, just so they're not so dense uh, and so on. You don't want to put all this in, just a, a little bit. I used to like to use the fork to just kind of bring this around. That's enough. Okay, and you want to just get that nice and mixed up in there. Okay, we're going to add a tinge, take a tinge more salt and a tinge more of the granulated garlic. Good. Now I've got here some fresh basil. Okay, I got it rolled up. We're going to just cut it real quick into a nice little chiffonade just to get that thing going. Okay, and we're going to take this basil, it goes right in here. Now, you won't have fresh basil, you could use dried basil, all that's fine. I like to mix it in. I just think it gives a little bit of nice texture to it. If you want to use those, um, the, the, the frozen cubes of basil or garlic in there, you know, that's fine. Or dill. Dill is nice. Um, I love dill in a good matzo ball soup, a, a little bit of dill. Usually when I make it with chicken, with the turkey, I'm not a big fan of pairing turkey flavors with dill, so that's why I'm not putting it in here. But if I was using chicken, there'd be dill in that pot now, baby. Okay, we're gonna mix that up now. I'm gonna take here a little bit of olive oil. This is, uh, again, uh, our organic extra virgin olive oil from our friends over at De La Rosa. We're gonna take a little bit of that, pour it into this cup, about yay much. Uh, take an egg. Crack the egg in here. Okay, now we're gonna, of course, check for blood spots, which is what we do in a kosher kitchen. And mix that up a little bit. Put my hand over it so that the uh, oil doesn't splash up and the egg doesn't splash up on my board. Okay, get that mixed in a little bit more. That goes in. Now we start to mix. You want this dough or this uh, we say a masa, this, this matzo ball mix, whatever, to just come together. It's going to be a little bit loose in here, but not too loose. And I'm going to add in just a little bit of this uh, nice Moscato from our friends at uh, Bartonora and kosherwine.com. Just a touch of that, just to give a little sweetness to it and, you know, bring it out a little bit, okay? Okay, now, put that aside. I have here, not hot dogs, you were wondering what these were. These are and Dewey sausage. And Dewey sausage, courtesy of our friends over at Cold Foods. These are turkey sausage, and they are really, really good. No nitrates, and of course, no growth hormones or uh, <clears throat> anything like that. We're just gonna put them in quarters and just chop them. We're just gonna put one in there. The other one, I'm gonna use in the soup. Now what happens with this sausage, we mix it in, and then you uh, bite into the uh, matzo balls. You've got this nice little andouille sausage surprise, so to speak, uh, coming in there. You know, the little chunks of it, a little smoky. Now these are not overly hot, but there's a, there's a little bit of a kick to them. Nothing bad. Let this now, just let that sit. We can put that in the refrigerator until we're ready to use it. What we're gonna do, cover it, little plastic wrap in the refrigerator, at least 15 minutes. Um, if it's a little too stiff for you, you could always add a little bit more oil or something, but uh, you know, just take them, roll them in your hands, and you gently put them into the boiling water, lid on, let it simmer 15, 20 minutes, fully cooks the, uh, the, the whole uh, matzo ball, and you're good to go. And you can do this kind of last minute. Um, the soup is the main thing. What I'm gonna do with this uh, leftover sausage, because it's so good and it smells so good, I'm just gonna kind of cut this um, up like this, and we're gonna, actually I'm gonna, Give a couple little bigger chunk dices and what the heck. This is going in the soup, folks. Right in the soup. Do a little, little surprise that way to everything. Okay, give it a little extra flavor. So that's it. When I come back, we're going to see the finished product. Remember, the, these matzo balls, you just take like this, roll them in your hand. You don't want to go too big. About this size is all you need on it. And they just, you know, I'll show you now. Gently drop, drop right into the broth, right into the soup, and they're going to cook in there 
and that's it. So this is going to be a fantastic turkey matzo ball soup. Very, very healthy and very good for you. And we're going to see the end product or uh, how it looks right after I come back, which is like now. Well, it's been four, six hours. I don't know. All I know is when I started this soup, it was light out. Now it's almost dark and it's been just luxuriating in that hot bath over there, just letting all the flavors and the herbs and the vegetables and the and dewy sausage and everything just get together and really create some stunning flavors. I, you could, the aromas wafting through my kitchen and my house are just, uh, you know, people are walking through here salivating. What's it going to be ready? Can I have some? I said, wait, wait, got to wait till we do the, <laughs> finish up the, the video, then you can all have it for dinner. At any rate, uh, this uh, soup, by the way, is kind of an homage to our Tia Fanny, our Aunt Fanny. She used to make me save all the turkey frames uh, anytime it was Thanksgiving or anytime we had turkey she made me save them and she made a soup out of it she passed away about a little over a year ago so this is kind of an homage to her uh, kicked up a little bit you know uh, just before I put the matzo balls in I grated a little bit of fresh ginger right into the soup just to give it a little bit more uh, you know something in there okay we did the matzo balls I showed you how to do that now it's ready I'm going to take still a little bit more fresh ginger just a little gently grated right over the top. You don't want to go heavy on that, just about that much. Two or three, two or three little rubs on it and that's it. Okay, and then this is just wonderful. You could see the andouille sausage popping out of the matzo balls, little pieces that we put in there. One other quick thing, you may be looking and saying, you got such a big pot here, right here, Avi. What are you gonna do with all that soup? I mean, I got about that much soup. So what I do is after it cools down, I take it, I portion it out into, uh, into uh, two cup containers, you know, those, those nice big deli containers, seal it off, we put it in some glass containers, and we freeze it. That way we've always got a fresh uh, bit of soup in the uh, you know, freezer. Somebody gets sick, they're not feeling good, bam, I got a homemade soup ready to go. Um, great for a Shabbat, anything else like that. Anyway, I rambled on enough. I'm uh, just, uh, I guess I rambled on just to let this cool down just enough so that I'm ready to eat it. So uh, it's cooled down, I'm done talking. I'm gonna say lechaim to you guys, and until next time, 